Hey everyone, welcome back to another quick how to. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the TomTom Go app. So, this is going to be a complete tutorial for beginners covering everything from setup to advanced features. So, whether you're commuting to work or going on a road trip, this app will make your navigation smooth and hassle free. So, what is TomTom Go app? So this is a mobile navigation application designed to help users with turn-by-turn -turn directions, uh, traffic updates, and also real-time route planning. It's ideal for drivers who need reliable GPS navigation and detailed maps for driving routes. So the app can be used both online and offline thanks to its downloadable maps, which allow users to navigate even without a data connection. So the very first step is to download the app. Head over to the Google Play Store if you're using Android device or App Store if you're using an iPhone. Search for TomTom Go and you just have to install this application. Once it's installed, go ahead and open it. If this is your first time, you'll need to create an account which is a simple process. You'll also be prompted to start a 7-day free trial then after the trial, the app requires a paid subscription. I recommend exploring it during the free trial to see if it meets your needs. And also, make sure you are connected to Wi-Fi while downloading, especially for larger map areas. Second step is setting up your account and download maps. After creating your account, the app will prompt you to download maps. These maps are essential for offline navigation, meaning you won't need a constant internet connection to use the app. You can download the maps for your country, region, or even specific states or provinces, depending on where you plan to drive. And this process might take a few minutes, so be patient and ensure your phone is plugged in if you're low on battery. Once the maps are downloaded, you'll have a fully functional offline navigation system, which is great for areas with spotty cell service. Step 3 is navigating the app interface. Now that the app is set up, let's take a look at the interface. The TomTom Go app is user-friendly with a clean layout. Let's go over the key elements. First key element is the search bar. At the top, this is where you can search for locations, addresses, or points of interest. The second element is tree bar menu or the main menu. In the bottom left corner, tap this to access all the app settings, including save locations, route options, and more. Third is the volume icon. This controls the sound for navigation or voice navigation. You can mute it, set it to alerts only, or leave the sound on. If you find the voice prompts too frequent, you can adjust the volume here. The last key element is the compass icon. Tapping this allows you to switch between different views, so you can toggle between driving view, or focusing on the road ahead, or a map view for an overview of the entire route. Now the step 4 is customizing your home, work, and favorite locations. One of the first thing you should do after setting up the app is to add your most frequent visited locations like home and work. Here's how. Open the main menu, which is the tree bar icon, then tap on add home or add work. Enter the address or search for the location and then save it. Now. These locations will be one tap away whenever you need to navigate. You can also add other favorite locations like restaurants, gyms, or friends' houses by using the search function and tapping the star icon to save them. This makes it super convenient since you won't have to type them in every time. Step number 5 is using the navigation feature. Now for the fun part, using navigation, and here's how to get started. 
first tap on the search bar and type in the location or address you want to go to. Then, the app also provides a list of nearby places based on categories like gas stations, restaurants, and more. After selecting your destination, tap Drive, and the app will generate the best route based on the real-time traffic conditions. I can also see estimated travel times, traffic delays, and even alternative routes if you want to avoid heavy traffic. Once you've reviewed the route, you just have to tap on Agree to start navigation. While driving, the app will guide you turn by turn, showing the next steps clearly. You can also mute or unmute the voice commands by tapping the volume icon if you prefer visual cues only. Step 6 is Additional Features The TomTom Go app comes packed with extra features to improve your navigation experience. First is the real-time traffic updates. The app continuously checks for traffic and road conditions, updating your route on real-time. And this helps you avoid congestions and find the fastest way to your destination. Second additional feature is the speed camera alerts. Get notified when you're approaching speed cameras to avoid getting a ticket. Third feature is the My Drive Sync. If you use the app on multiple devices such as smartphone and tablet, you can sync your settings and save location using TomTom's My Drive feature. Lastly, saving routes. You can save custom routes that you frequently take. Simply plan your route and save it so it's ready to go for future trips. Now the step 7 here is customizing your route preferences. The app also lets you customize your route preferences to suit your driving style or needs. Avoid toll roads, ferries, or highways if you prefer scenic routes. Choose a faster route or opt for a more eco-friendly one depending on your priorities. To access this, go to the main menu and tap on Find Alternative Routes. You can even avoid specific road types if you're looking to avoid winding or narrow routes. Step 8 is Ending the Navigation When you've reached your destination, the app will automatically end the navigation. But if you want to stop the navigation early, simply tap the X button in the bottom right corner and confirm by selecting End Route. And there you have it. You now have a full equip to use the TomTom Go app for all your navigation needs. So that's all. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and see you on the next video.